How Hurricane Harvey became so deadly. Hurricane Harvey has brought unprecedented levels of rainfall to Texas, threatening the lives of thousands or even tens of thousands. Scientists suggest climate change may have had a role to play in how the storm became so deadly. The first global warming mechanism that may have made the impact of Hurricane Harvey so severe is rapidly rising sea levels in the Houston region, making the area more likely to flood. The second factor is the rising temperatures in the region, which results in more moisture in the atmosphere, bringing more rain to the region. Human-caused global warming penetrating into the ocean past the surface also resulted in a deep layer of warm water feeding the hurricane as it intensified near the coast. Global warming may have also contributed to expanded subtropical high-pressure systems, which trapped Hurricane Harvey in the middle, stalling it near the Texas coast. Scientists say it is difficult to establish a link between climate change and a specific storm, as major tropical storms occur naturally based on many different factors. However, researchers say climate change has worsened the impact. Keep watching for more news on Hurricane Harvey and previous hurricanes. Saved Hurricane Harvey claimed one less life in Houston after a TV crew helped save a trucker from a watery death. As heavy rains submerged most of the city in flood water on Sunday, one semi-truck driver found himself trapped inside his vehicle, which was in about 10 feet of water. A KHOU 11 news crew covering the flooding saw the truck and spotted the man stuck inside. They urged the driver to stay put while they called for help. Reporter Brandy Smith flagged down two sheriff's deputies who were driving past with a rescue boat and alerted them to the man's plight. Within minutes, the deputies were on a boat and pulling the driver out of his flooded vehicle to safety. Smith and her cameraman kept the video rolling during the rescue and were relieved when the man was finally back on dry land. It was an emotional rescue, especially after deputies recounted a similar incident last year, which ended in tragedy. Hurricane Harvey couldn't keep this dog down. As Hurricane Harvey swept through the state, a lost dog in Texas showed it takes more than a raging storm to beat it. Before Hurricane Harvey's landfall Friday night, Sinton resident Salvador Segovia left his grandson's German Shepherd mix Otis in his screened-in back porch. When Segovia went back to check on Otis later, he was gone. Segovia checked his porch the next day and noticed Otis's bag of dog food was missing. Segovia went looking for the dog and was told by a neighbor they saw Otis strolling around with a bag of dog food in his mouth. Fortunately, Segovia was able to track down the dog's whereabouts and bring him home before his grandson returned. A neighbor who saw Otis thought he was a stray and took a snap of him strolling around with the dog food and uploaded it to Facebook where the image went viral. According to Segovia, Otis is loved by the folks in Sinton and he's been helpful to Segovia's five-year-old grandson who often goes to the hospital for seizures and asthma. Super Typhoon Napartak to make landfall in Taiwan. Taiwan is preparing for Super Typhoon Napartak, which ended a record storm drought of 200 days in the Northwest Pacific Ocean. Super Typhoon Napartak was formed in a low pressure area south of Guam on June 30th. Such storms are formed when warm, moist air rises into the atmosphere and creates clouds after condensation. The system of clouds and wind continue to grow and spin faster until it becomes a typhoon. Napartak intensified after traveling over a long stretch of warm ocean. It then moved over relatively cool water, reducing its energy. However, it's expected to pass over another area of warm water before making landfall in Taiwan. Napartak has an annular appearance, meaning it has a pinhole storm eye and very tight bands. Annular typhoons are less likely to be weakened by land masses and cold water in comparison to non-annular typhoons. Taiwan weather forecast authorities say Napartak's transverse lines of clouds also suggest strong convection activity in the typhoon, meaning it is still strengthening. Typhoon Soldanor killed dozens of people when it hit Taiwan and China in August of last year. Catastrophic hurricane batters Mexico's western coast. Mexican authorities declared a state of emergency in dozens of municipalities, closing schools and evacuating thousands as a powerful storm made its way to the country's west coast. Hurricane Patricia, one of the strongest storms ever recorded in the Western Hemisphere, made landfall in Mexico 6.15 p.m. on Friday. With El Nino warming ocean temperatures by one or two degrees, Patricia quickly gained strength and speed, developing from a tropical storm on Wednesday into a Category 5 hurricane by Thursday night. 
The hurricane's eye measured 10 kilometers and brought 200 mile per hour winds ashore as its center hit land. The Mexican coast was battered by heavy rain and powerful winds, with flooding and landslides in some regions. About 400,000 people were vulnerable to the storm, including some 15,000 tourists who had already been evacuated earlier. The storm is expected to slow down as it heads further inland, but nearby Texas and Louisiana may still receive heavy rainfall in the coming days. Despite weakening to a Category 2 storm, Hurricane Patricia is still considered extremely dangerous, as authorities warn those in affected areas to remain indoors.